edition of In The Game. I am your host, Hustle, and as always, we're going to be diving deep into the crypto... As today, there's a lot of red again in the markets, and in my opinion... It's just one of those days where you got to look across the space. What are some value projects that are really taking some dips and maybe that are at some dollar cost average ranges that you want to average down into and maybe accumulate for the next leg up? Uh, we'll talk about some NFT news. Like I mentioned, we got some new project launches coming that actually have some public token sales today, as well as some upcoming projects and some games that I think are really flying under the radar right now. Some games that have top tier AAA level teams that aren't getting enough recognition and their charts are pretty value looking as far as the buy potential right now. We'll get into that and more in this edition of In The Game. Without further ado, let's get in the game. All right, and let's just start off with probably the biggest news in the NFT space in the last day or two and we were not live uh we did not have an in the game show on thursday so we have not talked about this news and it's really big that a huge brand like adidas is coming into the nft world and this is their play to start their into the metaverse strategy uh, so adidas has revealed their nft partnership with board ape yacht club uh, one of the top nft collections in the space and we're not going to take too much time on this but i really just want to emphasize the fact that these big brands are going to be really filling the space as far as NFT, metaverse, gaming. And when you look at stuff like the Sandbox, for example, uh, you just take a look at the brands and the way that the layout's looking. A lot of these big crypto, a lot of these like big crypto projects are moving into the, uh, into the Sandbox metaverse. And I think eventually you're going to start seeing these big brands as well, starting asserting their spaces in these metaverses. Uh, like you can just kind of look around The Walking Dead, GuildFi, Atari. Uh, you have Ultra right here. There's the Binance headquarters down here. A lot of sandbox plots, obviously. Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, there's a lot in here that, in my opinion, big time brands, big time clothing lines, uh, the Louis Vuittons and the Gucci's, like they're going to literally move in and have a metaverse feel, a luxury metaverse uh, within like the sandbox, within Decentraland. These types of metaverses like network. They're going to see a lot of action from these big time brands in the future, as you see Animoca brands here as well. There's just a lot going on. And you see Adidas's plot right here, for example. So this is an example of one of those metaverses that you're going to see a lot of big time companies moving in and trying to assert their feet into these metaverses. So it's good to see Adidas getting involved, not only in the sandbox, but into the NFT game as well. Uh, they're really trying to insert themselves at the forefront of NFT gaming metaverse. So I love to see that. And I would expect many more clothing lines, brands to get involved in the future. Now, I want to cover a lot of news regarding Vulcan Forged, guys. So to start the week, Vulcan Forged had a big time hack, a big time compromise on their uh, platform where a lot of tokens were stolen from wallets. About 148 wallets were compromised, and they've really bounced back strong. They've refunded and replaced all those tokens, and they have a big plan ahead to go ahead and kind of right those wrongs a little bit, uh, and we'll get to their big picture plan. But they have some new partnerships this week that are really, really fantastic. Uh, their carbon neutral blockchain that they're developing for Vulcan Forge games and on their platform, Elysium. They partnered with Chorist, uh, which is an, a rainforest project that will be the first carbon neutral blockchain that will be planting trees across 70,000 acres of land funded by gas fees. So they are really going all out with this carbon neutral initiative. Uh, and with Chorus, they're going to be able to partner up with a decentralized platform for offsetting emissions. So with those gas fees, they're going to be planting trees. I love this. And it's just one of those that's a green initiative. The carbon neutral initiative is definitely picking up. And especially within gaming, I think this is a definite niche to be capitalized on. Uh, and Vulcan Forge with their Elysium blockchain. Really good news there. You take a look at also, they just partnered with, ironically, The Hustle. Uh, they partnered with The Hustle and Busta Rhymes to the Vulcan Forged family. Uh, and they'll be bringing music to the metaverse. This is amazing. Uh, World-renowned musicians showcase your music to a virtual audience, NFTs, marketplace, development, and more. And then if you take a look on the hustle side, extremely excited to join the Vulcan Forge community as, and have them as a gaming partner. We'll be building a world-class play-to-earn game that will give even more use cases to the hustle token. So a music play-to-earn game. That sounds absolutely amazing and very unique. You don't really see many music style games across the space. And if you're actually being able to turn your creations audio, your actual creations via songs, et cetera, 
into NFTs and turn true song ownership uh, into a gamified way. I think that really has a niche to be filled. And I like this partnership for Vulcan Forge and The Hustle. Gaming, metaverse, NFTs, as they say, the future is Web3. And I mean, we say that here every day on the channel, guys. This is the future. Um, getting these types of initiatives like music, the entertainment industry, social networks, gaming, all this stuff is really going to start adopting into Web3. And I'm super excited for all these initiatives that are getting going across all these different industries, uh, getting involved in the metaverse and gaming. Another update this morning, Vulcan Forge just came out with their tower defense beta. Uh, the first 50, only 50, I believe, get access to this. Um, but everyone knows the classic game, Bloons Tower Defense. Uh, if you played, if you were in elementary school or middle school back in the day and you were a slacker, you would have Bloons Tower Defense on your windows and you would be playing games in class. Uh, I know that was me, for example. So this is a game that really has that nostalgic effect. If you were used to play Bloons Tower Defense, this really hits home and it's a simple play to earn game. It's not meant to you know, revolutionize the blockchain, but Vulcan Forge already has six plus titles working or in development, which I absolutely love. Uh, Vulcan Forge is one of the most bullish studios across the space. So they did come out with that as well. And then here's an update on kind of the hack, the compromise and what's to come. Four million PYR tokens were returned. Ten or uh, $103,000 returned in non-PYR tokens. There is a token fork in uh, upcoming where sexes will airdrop one to one. So they might change the PYR token to kind of restructure those tokenomics after uh, the compromise. So we could see a little bit of a change in the PYR token. But if you follow Vulcan Forge, you know that this team definitely, definitely is behind their community. They're going to do whatever it takes to make this right and set them up for success in the future. I think development above anything, Vulcan Forge is just super bullish. There's a lot to love about Vulcan Forge, and it's still sitting in this low $20 range. When we saw it up here at $46, I think, like I said, development triumphs all in this. And I think that Vulcan Forge is going to really see a run up whenever we see the markets turn around, whenever gaming picks back up its real narrative. You're going to see it back up to these 46, like in near all time high levels. I have very, very strong confidence in that. Uh, and that is one of my bigger positions in my portfolio as well as Vulcan Forge. And a little bit of news as far as Gods Unchained. We've been talking about that a lot recently. It's performing really well in the markets as well. It's been kind of going up and down, but the surges it's been seeing have been nice. And that's from the player adoption. They are getting more and more player base every single day. And due to its popularity, they are extending their event for rewards, uh, which is the Blessing of the Gods event, where if you play enough Gods Unchained, you get rewards in the amount of the gods token. So part one will continue as normal until December 28th, but they have extended part two uh, to January 24th. So due to the mass adoption that Gods Unchained is seeing, the amount of players, they've run a million matches in the last month. That's really bullish in my opinion. And when you take a look, they're really rewarding their player base. And I've seen some people in the community that are getting those rewards and they're pretty solid rewards. It's, it's, definitely, not, it's definitely not like, compete this many games and you get a penny pinched reward. They are definitely rewarding their community very well. And I love Gods Unchained. And like I said, this chart is really just trending up and down. Um, and in my opinion, in an unstable market, it's kind of holding its $6, $7 levels pretty strong. Uh, and I love Gods Unchained for the future. And whenever this market turns back around, this is a game that just has a ton of players already using it, which is really a factor in my opinion. And if the market was to go bear, you're going to have people actively participating in this economy as well, which could actually keep God's token pretty stable, just like you saw Axie perform well in the bear market because players are actively playing to earn inside the economy. Uh, so that is a big deal in my opinion. Now I want to talk about a project that is just come out with their public token sale today. It is a copper launch auction. And um, we'll get into all of this about this project, but Rainmaker Games is one of the, my favorite projects coming up in the space. And if you've been watching in the game, you know I've talked about multiple, multiple guilds on this platform. Good Games Guild, Unix, uh, GuildFi, Yield Guild Games. There's a lot of different gaming guilds forming. It's kind of cluttered, right? You're kind of like, which one do I invest in? How do I spread my chips? I want to get involved in a guild, but I also want to pick the best guild, for example. Well, let's take a look at Rainmaker Games. There's all these guilds popping up and we know that there's a need for guilds for these players to get in these economies that maybe don't have the capital to buy all these assets, 
but the guild can lend out those assets to active players to be able to earn inside the game. Rainmaker Games is the middleman between games and guilds, and I love this. Uh, so what they describe themselves as is the free global platform to play hundreds of play-to-earn games, connecting gamers, games, and guilds worldwide. Uh, gamers of all levels can join for free, make your profile, play, learn, and earn, and connect all in one platform. Uh, with the portal of play to earn gaming, unlocking financial freedom like never before. Uh, and let's kind of just take a look. We'll come back to the backers in a second. This right here could really revolutionize the kind of, I would, I would say it's a distribution, almost game distribution, an easy dashboard, easy interface, the social aspect where you're being able to create your flexible gamer profile, but you're also going to be able to find verified guilds to participate in. Uh, so you see from the front here, you're going to be able to have access to games like they're kind of advertising like Star Atlas, Sandbox, Axie. You'll be able to click right in there and start playing these games as you see the interface, or you can start chatting with the community within the game. Uh, and as we've talked about, the social narrative is definitely on the rise coming up. And this is a social gaming platform that allows you to create profiles, socialize with these communities, and get involved in these bigger economies. Uh, so you have your gamer profile, your verification tool that can verify your stats. They'll have an NFT marketplace and the RAIN token, uh, which is up for copper launch auction right now. You take a look at their tokenomics, very strong in my opinion. You can take a look also at their different seed rounds. Uh, and we'll go down here to their core team. In my opinion, their team is very strong. They have a good mix of blockchain agnostic and gaming agnostic experience. A lot of different experience in this team, uh, which I like to see because you want that blockchain savvy, but you also need that gaming experience. You go over to the backing as well, guys, backed by Alameda Research and Animoca Brands. If you follow my investment and if you follow the way I kind of approach things, you want to look at the biggest VCs in the space. Animoca Brands portfolio wide scale is one of the most successful in the metaverse. Alameda Research has been putting money in a lot of quality projects as well. So this type of backing right here from Alameda and Animoca is something you want to see as well. Rainmaker already has 109,000 followers on Twitter. They're doing a really good of a really good job of actually growing their socials organically. It's not too much bots. Sometimes in the gaming space, guys, you can see a profile with tons and tons of followers and replies. But if you look at the replies, sometimes you can literally tell that they are bots. So you want to sometimes make sure they have 109,000 followers. Go look at their replies. They're really growing naturally. They're doing airdrops, giveaways, getting people involved in their community, raising that project awareness, uh, not via botting their followers. So that's also big. And I want to play this video because I think it really describes what I just mentioned the global in a lot better way. The world of play to earn gaming to your fingertips. Gamers of all levels can explore and play hundreds of top PTE games for free. You can so you'll be able to have that interface to go ahead and play those profile, games. Level up and get guild verified. Unlocking premier you'll be able to verify your stats worldwide. inside of these Manage economies. Your with ease and transfer earnings between Manage your earnings brain. within all these games under one wallet. Piece of Rainmaker games. With every game, you'll get world-class training from top players game reviews and tips to win Plus, so you can literally get training within this economy as well we're bringing financial freedom to everyone and redefining what work can be welcome to where the world plays to earn welcome to rainmaker games and i love that vision right there um they're really trying to connect players guilds into these bigger economies introducing also the social aspect of being able to form a community within these games so in my opinion if you're looking across the space and you're like, wow, there's eight guilds, right? There's eight guilds that I really like. This right here is something that connects all of that in between. It connects the games and the guilds. So if you're looking for a guild play that's maybe, but you're so uncertain between this five or six mainstream guilds, this is where you might be looking as far as something that will be the middleman as far as guilds and players. The Rain Token Launch Auction is going on right now. Uh, and they've already raised $2.3 million. Uh, and it just started today. This is not something to ape into. You see the trend. This thing is going to dip a little bit more uh, before this thing goes live for trading. And it's going to be launching into a red market, guys. So the action here is to just keep your eyes on this auction. Keep your eyes whenever this thing ends, whenever it goes live for public trading. Do not buy into this auction right here because you will get wrecked. But this is a token I have my eyes on. Once it goes live for public trading, you see a little bit of a dip. 
maybe look to accumulate this because I think this is going to be a strong, strong project with elite backing and a strong team behind it. And the use case is just flat out very solid. Uh, and you take a look, you could kind of compare the game distribution side almost. Uh, they're kind of, they're, their competitors are obviously uh, going to be platforms that are allowing players to come in and play, play to earn games as well. But indirectly, they'll kind of be competing a little bit with Gala's game distribution and Ultra's game distribution, just a little bit. But it just depends. If Rainmaker is able to get those IPs to be able to launch Axie, Star Atlas, those level of games on their platform, that could be a game changer. Uh, because as we know, Gala is kind of coming up with partnerships and producing their own games. And Ultra is more of just a pure game distribution platform. Rainmaker has a lot of aspects to it. Whether or not they're able to just launch these games right here on the front page of their platform is to be seen, whether they get these deals. But I love this project going forward. And it's kind of in that line uh, in the guild and distribution platform, which I absolutely love. Throw in the social aspect. That is a great, great use case. And I want to talk about a game here, guys, that really I don't see covered much. This is a game that really flies under the radar that has, once again, a AAA level top tier team. And that is Aurori. Uh, Aurori, just take a look at the, we'll, we'll get into the game in a second and what it looks like. It looks like a anime style Pokemon style game. It looks really, really clean. It's on the Solana blockchain, but look, let's look at the metrics from the Aurori project. The team is 28, uh, 28 people and counting, including the development, uh, the development team. They've recently hired Jonathan Campo from Ubisoft, where he led a department focused on art production for AAA games and store content. They launched their staking pool, which already has 30 million total value locked. They passed 150,000 followers, and they are listed now on FTX official. Uh, and you take a look at this chart, guys. It's really, it's, it's bottomed out, to be honest. I mean, like we're, we're at, it's near its all-time lows. It's, it's kind of lows. We're back here a little bit. Um, but it's really nearing a bottom on the chart. And this project has a lot going for it for a project chart that looks like this. The anime style graphics, the Pokemon concept, and that's really what they're going for. They say that this game drew inspiration from League of Legends, Pokemons, Magic the Gathering, and Advanced Wars. Uh, and I think they've done a pretty good job of kind of combining that art style with the battle style. And I really like what they're putting together here. I think this does have mass appeal. Uh, and you can kind of take a look at more of their tokenomics. Uh, their NFT collections did do really, really well on the Solana blockchain. We'll take a look at some still images here. There's what it would look like kind of a test battle uh, against uh, another player. And then you take a look at the card layout. I think all of this looks very solid. We'll take a look at the PVP battle arena. So this is kind of the intro to a match. I think that the graphics just look super, super slick. This is on the Solana blockchain, which their narrative for gaming is picking up very, very much uh, between Cryowar, Soul Chicks, a game like Aurori. I think Solana, you know, their capability as well on their blockchain. A lot of these games are going to see success on the Solana blockchain. And I do think that this narrative as far as Solana games is heating up because more games are building on Solana. That shows you the strength of the blockchain. That shows you how fast and capable Solana will be to power these types of economies. And it shows the faith that these projects are putting in Solana to build on Solana. They wouldn't pick Solana to build on if it was going to be uh, you know, flawed, if it was going to have its issues. So I think that Solana gaming narrative is heating up. And you also have Justin Khan, co-founder of Twitch, guys. If you don't know Justin Khan, he is a huge player uh, in what really revolutionized gaming streaming. Uh, and he is working on his new project, Fractal. Uh, Fractal is kind of like an NFT marketplace style uh, for games and NFT collections. And he used Aurori as the front page example. As you see, Aurori is a play to earn desktop, desktop game where you're invited to explore a rich and diverse universe uh, where there's two different areas and biomes where you will meet a vast array of NPCs and Nefties. Nefties are the magical creatures in the universe. Uh, and you can take a look here. It would kind of tease like their NFTs. These are their Nefty NFTs for Aurori. Uh, and their different NFT collections. So very, very strong looking project. And you can kind of see their battle experience. And as I mentioned, where they drew their experience, League of Legends, Advanced Wars, Pokemon. So they really drew all those inspirations and put them all together in the culmination of Aurori, uh, which I think looks super clean. And it has more of a Japanese anime style feel to the graphics uh, than a Pokemon does. And I really think this has a lot of potential. 
And then they're going to have a good staking program where you can stake your Aurori tokens, but you can also get eligible NFTs from playing. And then as they call it, the DGEN NFT pool, you'll be able to stake your NFTs here. Uh, and that will improve your uh, abilities and develop more effective strategies in player versus player. Uh, so that is awesome. We'll be able to put up your NFTs in a stake pool that will provide you more ability and strength within the game. So all in all, the economy is very healthy. They have a good vision. This is kind of what it would look like on a PvP match. I think that the graphics, the, like the layout, this is very, very early stages. Uh, this was just in their light paper at the very beginning. All the videos you just saw are more up to date. But this is kind of a preview of what the user interface will look like. I think Aurori has a lot of potential, guys. And this one, take a look at the chart. These are the type of charts you want to potentially be looking into. I'm, I'm not saying go ape into this token. If you look at the market, guys, that is not a good idea. I'm just going to say it is red across the board. But you want to put these projects on your list as projects to potentially look at because when the market turns around, this is the type of chart that's really going to see upward movement because we're seeing the bottom here and they're having a lot of positive developments. So it might be a little bit of a downtime in the market, but in gaming, development triumphs all they're bringing in AAA team members from ubisoft they're really revolutionizing what they're trying to do with the game on the solana blockchain so i'm looking forward to this project and i really really have my eyes on more developments and gameplay updates from aurori and then i want to kind of just get into three projects that are really really at a discount today guys uh and the market's bleeding and so are these projects Dayton Arena is now actually under $8. They had a big token unlock yesterday, guys. And as you see here, the token unlock has really, really drove that price down. Yesterday, we were at, I mean, yeah, three, four days ago, uh, and even yesterday, we were at $10 still. Now we're at a little under $8. Token unlock really just flushed a lot of that whale liquidity out. Really healthy buy-in point here if you're looking to accumulate one of the most active game economies across the space right now. Uh, Thetan Arena is definitely at a DCA accumulation level. Soul, I keep talking about Soul. Layer one, smart NFT blockchain for gaming. The diluted, guys, is the full market cap. There's no whale liquidity hanging over this project's head. There's no token unlocks that's going to come and rain down on Phantasma. They actually have upcoming games integrating Phantasma's blockchain already out and functional but also on the way, I really like Phantasma's soul and there's no whale liquidity. Kind of like Remark. I will, I'll just kind of pull this up. And this is not, uh, this is just an example. This is another big time project, guys. No diluted market cap. I mean, the, the diluted is basically the exact same as the market cap. These are healthy projects as far as they're not going to have those random unlocks and the whales just dumping on the retail investors' heads. So that's a very strong point for Phantasma, and I love this project. And then the last one on my holiday shopping list that is kind of on a dip. If you want a strong guild play, I honestly think GuildFi is the best new guild in the space. Uh, backed by Alameda, Re uh, yeah, backed by Alameda Research, Animoca Brands, Coinbase Ventures. They're putting together a guild management protocol as well as the players being able to get involved through the GuildFi system. Very, very bullish on GuildFi. And then if I had to pick a different guild uh, to maybe take a look into, I would maybe look at Good Games Guild. It's really dipped, but they also have a token unlock next month, January 12th, I believe it is. Uh, so you would want to keep your eyes on that. A lot of these gaming projects, guys, have a lot of token unlocks. You want to keep your eyes on that because that's when whales are going to dump their pre-sale tokens. Uh, and a lot of these gaming tokens are new. So they're going to have some of these diluted that might have some unlocks. So try to keep your eyes on that. And I'll always try to keep my eyes on it for the banter fam and for the community to know, okay, this unlock is coming up. Maybe look to buy in after a potential unlock. Uh, but these are three projects I'm really looking to DCA and add more to my bags. Uh, Thetan Arena, Phantasma, and GuildFi. And I would also throw in Gods Unchained and Vulcan Forged. Those would be my five projects on my holiday shopping list with my highest conviction that I would be dollar cost averaging into uh, while this market is down. And that's really going to be it for me as far as the content today, guys. Uh, I know banter is taken off for the holidays, so I will wrap it up here and we can get our holidays started. We appreciate every single one of you tuning in to end the game. If you're new to the channel, new to the banter fam, hit the subscribe button, 500K strong and counting. And like the video if you enjoyed the video. It helps us get this video in front of more crypto gaming enthusiasts and DGENs just like yourself. I will be back 
uh, with more in the game after the holidays. As always, play well, my friends. Woo-hoo! <laughs>